Hi friends, uh, welcome to Word AI video tutorial. Today's session I am going to explain about uh, transformation in ODA. So in earlier session uh, we have already covered on mappings and the other uh, objects related to CPM uh, and other knowledge models, uh, integration knowledge model and uh, loading knowledge model. Now I am going to explain more uh, related to transformations. So if you are working in uh, ODA uh, in 12C, so we will be knowing this uh, transformation. In earlier versions like 10G and 11C, uh, we don't have a separate concept of uh, transformation, but default uh, we will be applying uh, whatever we have a filters and uh, other things. Uh, but in 12C, uh, ODA introduced uh, transformation concept, which is the same as Informatica or you can say Oracle Warehouse Builder. So the same concept has been introduced in uh, ODA from 12C onwards. So let's uh, see uh, how to create a mapping with uh, transformation. So I'm going to create a new mapping. So provide your uh, mapping name. So I'm going to explain about uh, two uh, transformation. One is uh, expression and uh, another one is filter. Let's see that. So you can click on OK. So here you can drag and drop your source and target table in your mapping. So I have a model with the source table and the target table. I have a separate folders model. This is my source table. I'm dragging it here. And uh, this is my target table. And so all these transformations are available in component window. Here you can see. So when you are developing any mapping, so remember that use expression before going for other components, that is before going for any other filters or any joints or anything, first use expression. Why? Because when you are developing mapping, so initially we are working in development environment, so future we will be getting the enhancement. So that is changing the request or changing the requirement. So that time it is very difficult to edit whatever you are doing the thing. So if you are whatever your uh, source columns, you can drag this component and drag all the columns from your source table to this expression. If you have any requirement, any uh, functions you can apply here. If you don't have, leave it that. Because future if you are getting any requirement, any uh, requirement change you can implement in this expression so it is very easy in future changes so that's the reason as per standards it is recommends to use expression transformation that is expression component in your mapping for future enhancement for better changes okay then this is all columns if you have any uh, requirement you can apply here so i want to do some uh, function for example I want to convert this employee name with a init cap or you can say lower case or you can say but normally default uh, so like this so here you can see the edit window and uh, you can apply uh, whatever the functions or any calculations you can apply this expression okay so while selecting data from source system um, before going your e dollar table so this functions will be applied remember this then i am applying this tab so anything you can apply here Now I'm drawing the filter in drag and drop filter. So here is the window, you can drag and drop from here to here. Then from here to here, you can drag and drop. Here. So auto map, I'm doing this. If you are missing any thing, you can re verify. So job is not mapped properly. Here you can see. I am taking some expression. This is okay. 
these all are not maps. So this should be this whatever you are mapping in target table that should come from expression, not from your source table. So here you can see that expression dot should be there your column name. So commission you can see here default default means directly it is mapping from your source table. So you can uh, edit this and change this. Okay. So now you can see this same thing for department number. So whatever you are taking the data that should come from expression, not from source table. Job also same thing. So here filter you can apply the filter condition here you can apply the filter condition for example if you are uh, looking for here you can open this and directly you can apply on expression or you can apply on source That's it. equal to that okay same thing. So I'm filtering department number 10. So I'm looking for only department number 10 employees data. So I'm applying filter condition here. You can look. So I have one transformation here expression, another transformation with a the filter. Then I'm loading data into my target table. Okay. Then you can save this mapping. So all the knowledge models. So in 12C, if you are not assigning knowledge model, what will happen? So default, it will consider a global knowledge model that is creating the database link and loading the data from your source table to target table. Let's look at a simulation. I am not assigned any knowledge model here. If you look at the simulation, what will happen? So it will be created database link. If you are not selecting any knowledge model, here you can see. It is creating a database link here you can see and directly loading data from your source table to target table. So it is not creating any C dollar table or I dollar table. Why? Because default global knowledge model will be considered. Now here you can see it is fetching the data from source table with the selecting as a database link and it is applying the filters and whatever you are applying the whatever you are applying here expressions whatever your inside expression whatever your applying functions or any calculation everything you can see so now you can go to your physical layer now you can change your knowledge model lkm and ikm you can click on this target group icon here you can see if you click on this icon here you can see integration knowledge model you can choose sql control append or oracle control append based on your requirement you can choose this and I am disabling my flow control. So I don't want to use a CKM knowledge model. Then I am truncating my target table before loading. So remember this truncate don't use in a production environment. But this is for practice. I am giving you an example. So remember this by using your target table loading to truncate option. That will be truncate your entire production data. Then Go to your source that is LKM loading knowledge model. Here you can see default is selected database link. So now I am selecting SQL to SQL or SQL to R. You can select this. Save your mapping and again rerun your simulation. Now here you can identify the changes by because now it is going to create a C dollar table. Here you can see. It is creating a C dollar table and selecting data from your expression here. You can see what are the functions we are applying here. Then inserting into your C dollar table. Then C dollar table to target table that is the control you find. Append here you can see that. Okay. Let's run this mapping. Session has been started. Now you can go to operator and today's sessions you can verify this the session has been completed and uh, you can verify the both LKM and IKM steps.
LKM, this is my LKM step. You can look at code level. This is my code insert. Okay. In definition here you can see number of rows, five rows. So same thing, truncating target table. We have enabled uh, truncate target table. Then inserting rows. Here you can see inserting and target table five rows has been inserted because we are applying department number filter condition. Okay. So same thing you can verify the source code, department number filter, and we are applying the init cap and employee name. So same thing you can go to your database and verify this as dev. Okay, this is as dev, and the target here you can see T dev. So this is my SQL developer. Now you can write a query. So I have only 10th department employee and I have applied init cap that is camel cache. So it is uh, converting uppercase default the database character strings will be uppercase. So I am converting into first letter uppercase remaining or lowercase that is init cap function I have applied in my expression. So this is the way we can go for using transformation that is uh, components in ODI to IC. So thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates my channel. Thank you very much.